Hello everyone, welcome to Winged Horse Designs. I'm Donna Goodwin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Brookings, South Dakota. Today I'm going to bring you two cards done with one stencil and then creating two cards from one stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras and get started on this and we'll go. It's going to take about 30 minutes or so, give or take a little bit. So here's a little bit better version. So this is the one where we're going to do some blending with a die that I have cut to make a stencil. And then we're going to take that stencil because why not use it and create this other card doing some more pieces in it, kind of referring to paper, paper piecing, not paper piercing. I always want to say it the wrong way. The measurements are in the description, so you won't need to write those down. You're going to need two card bases. I've chose gray granite that measure five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and give both of those a good crease with my bone folder. And I'm going to set those aside. Then you'll need two pieces, because remember we're making two cards. I chose Granny Apple Green. These measure three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, or basically just a smidge larger than our main color that we're using here. And I have some scraps. That's where these little strips come from from starting out with a larger piece and then deciding I wanted to cut it down. And so you end up with these skinny little pieces that we tend to throw away, but I was like, no, let's go ahead and add those to the card as well. You'll need two pieces of a neutral color that measure four inches by five and a quarter inches for our two insides. We'll need two pieces for our front that measure two and th or three and three quarter inches by five inches. And then you'll need a piece, it doesn't matter what the measurement is, but you'll need a piece to cut out your die. So I have cut out this die from the chic dies. It's supposed to be, I think, a fishnet, but I just thought it was kind of cool with all the different pieces that are in it. And then for you need two pieces of these dies here. So I'm using the Cheerful Daisy bundle. And it comes with these wonderful stamps in here. You can do the backgrounds and the detail on top of each other. And a stem and a leaf, a cluster of flowers, the centers, of course, and then some sentiments. So we're going to make a birthday card. So we're going to use Wishing You the Brightest Birthday. And then we're going to use some of these dies. So I made a little thing here to kind of make it easier to visualize the dies. So you have these dies that will, let's do this. There we go. So you have these dies here that will cut out these images, but then you have these detailed dies and here in the white, it's kind of hard to see, but it embosses and cuts at the same time that layers into these pieces. And then you have this one great big die here, which we are going to use. And then we're going to use these detail pieces because they match into these as well. You have a stem, you have a leaf, you have a banner, the centers. This cuts out the cluster of three little flowers. And then you have this whimsical leafy thing. So we're going to use these three here and this one here and the leaf die, and then of course the banner die. And then when we finish off, we're gonna bring in some of the new in color, the 2023 to 2024 glossy dots. And I chose, let's see. I chose two new in, two new colors for this one. 
We're going to use a total of four. We're going to bring in Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green, which have been around for a little while. We're going to bring in two new colors. Bubble Bath is this nice pink, and it is a new core color. And then Moody Mauve is a new in color. So this one will be around for two years. This one will be around for a long time. So I'm going to set those aside. And then I'm going to use a blending brush. I love using blending brushes. I think it gives a much softer look than sponge dabbers, but that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to set all of this aside and work with my pieces. And I need a piece of scrap paper to protect my desk. So here's my mask or my stencil my stencil, but I'm keeping the negative as well. And you'll see why here in a moment. So I'm going to bring in one of our three and a quarter by five inch pieces. Now this piece is a little bit larger and I'm going to kind of decide about where I want it to go on my base. And I think that's about where I want. And I'm going to fit this stencil right down inside. So this is a, just a paper stencil. And I'm going to take the Moody Mauve Now I'm not going to tape this together, so I need to hold it with my fingers and work one side and then work the other. So I'm just going to pick up some ink and I'm just, whoops. So when we're doing this, maybe it will be a good idea to take a little washi tape and kind of hold it in place. And then let's take this one and then we'll put this over the top about where we think we want it. And I'm going to tape this one down as well to hold it. But I'm going to tape it down here at the bottom so that I'll be able to lift and look. And then we'll hold this in place with our fingers. Oops. We're going to pick up our ink. We're going to start off of the stencil and come into the stencil, even starting off the paper. We're just going to blend over it. Now I'm going to rotate this around the other side. And I am going to end up with ink on my fingers, I'm sure. And I'm okay that some's dark and some is light. We can hold this together and you can see that you have just a different pattern. Now, I'm not sure you can see it in camera, but there's just a little bit of an outline here from where this part meets. So I'm gonna take this off and then very lightly, I'm gonna come in along the edges just to soften that up a bit and kind of take away from that sharp tiny little line that's showing up there. So I'm just kind of blending around the outside edge here. Now when you're doing this, when you're creating a stencil, you definitely want to use cardstock and not masking paper um, because you want to be able to take it off and check it and masking paper, sometimes, like on Monday when I was doing it, it really sticks a lot better than you want it to. If you're enjoying the videos I do, please do like, comment, and share. I love to read your comments. So when I take this off, we now have this piece here. which is just kind of a whimsical type of background. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything. Obviously it would look great with seashells. And then you have uh, your stencil has color on it too. So why not use this on a card? Now you can use this over and over and over again. You could even use different colors if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do two cards at once. So then let's go ahead and start working on bringing this in. Now, normally I stamp first and die cut later, but I've already die cut this in the 
bubble bath, nice, pretty pink. Because I wasn't sure I could stamp and get the right alignment on this of the detailed stamps and before cutting it. But normally I would cut first and stamp later. So we're still going to use the Moody Mauve. And I'm going to do my best to get it lined up on top of these. So I'll try not to get my head in the camera, but we'll see. Now this, these became available on Tuesday. So everything that you see, you can per now purchase. So if you see something you'd like to purchase and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. And this is my April postcode. If you're local to me, I do do classes here. I do them here in my home. I do one class every Wednesday that's just a little hour long class, usually less than an hour. Where we do one card and that's $250 per class or you can pay for four classes at a time if you prefer to just pay $10. I think that's where that lines up. Sometimes it's a little hard to figure out where it is when you're trying to look through. So I kind of like the way it turned out, but I don't want pink leaves this today. So I'm going to bring in the Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to bring in the leaf stamp of the, from the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp randomly over these leaves just to turn them green. I'm not trying to line up directly on them. because there's actually lines in here. So you end up with some, oh, let the camera focus. You end up with some kind of like detail on those leaves by doing this. And I'm just stamping over them a couple times. Try to get that stem turned green here. And so there's a little bit of pink on here, but for the most part, I've now turned my leaves green. So let's go ahead and stamp our happy birthday. I did pre-cut these out. So I'm going to stamp two of them because we have two cards. And I'm actually going to use some washi tape to hold this steady in hopes that it'll help me get my sentiment lined up straight. We're going to stamp that in green. I thought that there was enough pink and mauve going on that maybe we could use a little green. So we're just going to wish you the brightest birthday. There we go. We'll do another one. Red paper comes in so handy when you're doing this. I had to rely on my eyes to do something straight, I probably would never stamp anything straight or even close to straight. Okay, this one's a little shallow here. And since I'm not using a stamp positioner, I'm never going to get that straight. So I'm going to set that aside and grab another one. I know I have some more laying around here somewhere just in case. Do a better job putting some pressure on that.
Now I should be using a piercing mat underneath these because they're photopolymer. I just wrap mine in grid paper. But my desk mat is a foam mat, so I have that cushion that I need. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to, for the inside of these, I just did something really simple. I simply just stamped a little flower down here in the corner. So this is, I'm going to bring in bubble bath. And I'm going to stamp the background of this one flower. And you can see there's some detail as well. Well, maybe not there. You can see there's some detail as well in the background, but we're gonna go ahead and come in with the Moody Mauve and stamp the detailed stamp on top of that. Well, that one's definitely a little off, but that's okay. I'm going to close these up and move them out of the way. Sometimes, like that Moody Mob one, is they're really tight here, sliding them in and out when they're new, but the more you use them, the looser they become and the easier they are to open, like the Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to stamp my centers on these flowers on the inside in Daffodil Delight. And there's all our stamping. So now we need to start assembling these cards. I will have to check this. Apparently it dropped out on me and we may have to, I may have to totally redo this, but I'm going to do this and we'll see after it's over, I'll check the recording. If I have to redo the recording, I'll redo the recording. If it all stayed here, the system, the platform, I guess you'd call it, that I use stays out there on the internet. So I may have been fine recording all along. I didn't look up to realize that I had dropped off here, but we'll check that. So then I'm gonna glue this piece on that I stamped. And I'm just gonna use little dots of glue. I'm not gonna try and do lines of glue. I'm just gonna put some little dots. And if you can see the glue, it's enough. And I'm just gonna put some little dots at the outside edges of these. I don't want a lot of glue because I don't want glue oozing out onto my other piece. I think I was talking at one point in time and I got so involved in what I'm doing here that I forgot to finish my thought. But um, I do offer the classes at my house and I offer a monthly class that's three cards for $10 and that's always on the three sessions I keep each session to four people or let two to four people that allows a little bit more time to talk and get interact with each other. And it also takes away the stress of waiting or hurrying to get to the next piece of the card that you're working on or the next card. And you can find those by going to my online store and there's a link there. Uh, but I also have a link in here that just goes directly to my calendar. So then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use double-sided tape for this, and I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the back of this. So that I can attach my little strips. And I think I want my strips to have a little bit of an angle on them. I'm just going to snip them at a little angle.
And I'm just going to stick these to the back here. Kind of stagger them a bit. And then I'm going to put it on with some dimensionals. Put our greeting down around here. Trim off these tails. And bring in some embellishments. I'm going to use my take your pick tool. Now, all of these are about the same height, so I think I'm going to go with some of the bigger ones this time. And you just need to kind of grab it and slide it off the edge. And so we'll just put a few of these on here. I like these Moody Mob ones. I just think they look nice. So there's card one. Now we'll start on card two. Card two takes a little bit more time because there's a little more gluing. Oops, that's my sample. So we'll glue in the inside of this one as well. I do tend to monitor comments about every one or two hours during the daylight hours. Um, so if you have comments, please do, or questions, please do put those in the comments and I'll get to those. So along with my third Tuesday of the month class and my every Wednesday classes, if you happen to be local to me here in Brookings, South Dakota, I do Facebook Lives every Monday, or not Facebook, I do Lives every Monday. I stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So I've just put a white base on here, and then I'm going to bring in our stencil and use it as a layering piece on this card. So I'm just going to put little dots of glue, trying to definitely on the outside edges. And you probably can't see the glue on a white card base like this. But again, if you can, if I can see the dots, it's more than enough glue. You really don't need much at all. And then I'm gonna put a few in the center just to help tack it down or on my fingers. And we'll put that, oh, right about in here. I'm gonna have to hold this down for a bit to give that glue a chance to catch and hold. And then I have another one of that bubble bath that I cut out. This time I'm gonna glue some leaves behind it so that this, and go ahead and leave the leaves pink. So again, I'm just gonna put a couple dots of glue around the edges and then I'm going to glue a leaf that I cut that would cut out the stamp leaf to the back of it. And then we're going to get into that technique called paper piecing. So I have these, and you can see the detail a little bit better, the embossing detail a little bit better on this darker piece. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put little dots of glue, and I'm going to layer these up to create the detail on the other one. And 
And then we have to find the right, there we go. Now I could have cut out the center and done the center too, glued it behind and had some yellow shining through, but I opted just to leave it the way it is. And there you have some paper piecing. And we'll glue this one down flat as well, like we did with the other card. This bottle must be getting close to being empty. You could obviously do your blending and your stencil in a different color if you wanted a different color, if you didn't want so much of the different pinks coming through. So again, I'm going to hold this down with my hand. Um, if you were doing this yourself, you could put one of the bigger blocks on it to hold it down. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And again, we're going to do our banner by putting some double-sided adhesive on the back. And a couple of these little strips. That one's a little bit thicker, so I'll put that one on the bottom. Bring in some dimensionals again. Let's go ahead and glue this on the front of our card. And we'll add our banner. Snip off those ends. Bring in some more glossy dots. now have two cards from one stencil. All right, let's see. Give me a second. I lost one of my cameras at the same time.
there we go. So the beauty of, I use StreamYard to do my videos with, and the beauty of that is it continues to run up in the cloud. And so all I had to do is get my cameras back. And I was so busy working on this that I forgot to turn this camera back on as well. So I apologize for that. I hope you enjoyed these two cards. If you do like what you see, please do like, comment, and share. Remember that have a wonderful weekend. And remember, I will be live streaming on Monday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Happy trails.